New developments in a story we broke. Customers of a business that can't make good on thousands of travel vouchers, they have been told they can go to police or get an attorney. And as Joe Chioda reports, now the county attorney is making moves to hold the company accountable. It is a fact finders investigation. Hundreds are now out money after buying travel vouchers from Creative Creations. And this letter from the Better Business Bureau is another disappointment. It explains the legal counsel representing the company can't satisfy clients' demands. So the BBB is required by policy to close your complaint against the company as unresolved. Basically, the BBB says there's nothing they can do from their end. I got a lot of money here at stake and I got to chase it down. But Alan Dehigh isn't giving up. He bought 37 vouchers for a Thanksgiving trip to San Antonio that the company never fulfilled. He's out more than 5,000 bucks. I have contacted the Better Business Bureau. I've contacted the Attorney General. I've filed a police report. The county attorney has actually contacted me to see if I would file a police report because he was reading my file on Better Business Bureau. County Attorney Don Klein says his office has issued subpoenas against the company in hopes of enhancing the investigation into where that $1 million of customer money went. Owner Patricia Urbanovsky isn't providing answers to customers. There's no response on email. She doesn't want to return my calls. As a matter of fact, if you call the office, says the voicemail's full or just not taking any messages. And these letters stacked up in her now shut down office prove it. She stole from people. That's downright she stole. If she could not fulfill the vouchers and she knew from Southwest Airlines that they weren't going to honor, she should have returned the money to everybody. County Attorney Don Klein tells me those police reports like this one here could result in charges being filed against the owner. If and when those charges are filed, which could include theft, we will be sure to let you know. John and Mallory, back to you. Again, in total, the company owes well over a million dollars to customers. On the BBB's website, the company has more than 1,200 complaints.